Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play by me, the Gamer Wolf 6 of Mornatu, the original Koya's Route. On the last Let's Play, we accompanied Koya to his house, and he told his parents that he won the contest, and it will continue down the path of a musician. And then a sex scene happened, which if you want to see that, you can either go to the link in the description where you can download and play the game for free, in which case you can see it, or you can go to my, uh, for lack of a better word, Pornhub, where I have it currently posted. And, uh, with that, let's start. <sighs> I feel the same way, buddy. Let us sigh. I'm back on August 30th at 1.18. I had gone back to my grandparents' house, as Koya, uh, he had to go back to his part-time job. It's already been four hours. I just had lunch, and I'm pretty much free, but I had no idea what I should do. I just had too much time on my hands. For a little more than a week, I've been with Koya. There were fun times, a few painful times, but I think it's been very fulfilling. That might be the reason it feels like there's nothing to do uh, since I'm alone. Ugh, I always have that feeling. You know when like with your when you're with your friend for like a couple of days or with a parent or something like that. And then you have that last day or two and you're just like I should do something but I don't know I just don't have the motivation or energy to do it or something or there's nothing to do. I've been keeping up to date with my homework. Yep. Over this past month, I sighed one more time. One month. When I thought about it, uh, that, it's been a while, but certainly melancholy roads around my heart. Tomorrow will be the last day of August. Then, I have to go back to the city. I'm getting on the early morning bus. Since time passed by so quickly, I've forgotten something. My true feelings never came forth. Originally, my coming here was only for August of summer vacation, and now my time was drawing to a close. With such a gloomy state of affairs, my motivation to do anything tanked. Koi invited me to go over uh, with him somewhere once he finishes for the day, so I guess it's all just uh, right just to lie about until then. Well, that'd probably be around sunset. Man... Yeah, that is kind of a waste. Guess it can't be helped. I'll go take a walk or something. After thinking that, I spurred myself into action. Put on my sandals and staggered outside. The weather's good again today, here in Minnesota. The sun was shining brilliantly in the deep blue sky. Now then. In any case, this is an aimless way to kill time. I guess I'll be wandering around town. I made up my mind as I squinted against the reflected sunlight, then stepped into the heat hazes hanging in the summer air. Sorry, this is real late of me. When Koei came over to meet me, the sun had already set. The moment after I heard the bell ring, I ran out to the entryway. Koei probably hurried over since he was late. I could tell from his faint uh, but audible panting. It's kind of cute. No, it's not like that. I was just out until a while ago. This is good timing. Hmm, I see. Well, in that case, want to go out and see the stars? Uh, the time's about right for it. The stars? What, you forgot about it? Today's the day you can see the meteor shower. I thought I told you about it. I don't think so, Goya. Even if I didn't, wasn't it on the news today? Now that you mention it, vague memories ran through my head as I said that. I'm sure I heard about it, but when? I also got the feeling that I heard announced on the news when I was in the living room. Oh yeah, that was today. The meter shower should be on, uh, on my last night of Minnesota Village. Since location felt so perfect, my heart skipped a beat. Where should we go watch? We should probably see it pretty well in a dark place, huh? That's true. Location's already been decided, though. Eh? Where? 
That'll be a secret until you get there. Come on, let's go. I followed along behind Koya as he urged me on down the road. It seemed as if the whole town was looking forward to the meteor shower, as there were many people sitting outside the houses as we passed by. My gaze was drawn upwards as I saw the vastness of space, along with the fading glittering lines left by the stars. We made our way to the village, uh, through the village, and for a while we went on. Eventually, we reached the place Koya had picked. Here? Yeah, right here. We were in a, the unusual spot at the river. It's a bit of a special place for Koya and me, or at least I think it is. Koya walked down to the riverbank and sat down in a suitable place. Then he looked up to the sky. I took a, a spot next to him and also looked up at the night sky. The time between shooting stars appeared, uh, appeared and grew shorter and shorter. What time is it supposed to be at its best? About 9 or so. Right now it's about 8.40, so we're a little early. And suddenly the conversation stopped there. I'm pretty sure that's uh, for that for the both of us. We both had a lot on our minds, which made it hard to talk. But after hesitating, Koya spoke up. Tomorrow, you're going back. Yeah. I confirmed it, speaking so softly in my voice, sounded like it might go out. Right here? For you and me? I get the feeling so much started up in this place. So I was thinking earlier that I wanted to be with you right here. So today's the last day I'm here. I think he's saying that he wanted to come here eh, to where it all began so we could uh, look back at it all. I didn't really understand. Sorry about today. I want to spend all day with you. You couldn't help it. It was your job. If you kept intruding on your work, if I kept intruding on your work, it'd probably cause problems with your manager. I had to get ready too. I see. Koya lightly grumbled as he he then continued on. You said you went out before I showed up. Where did you go? Hmm. A bunch of places around the village. Since I'll be going back pretty soon. I figured I'd take a long walk around. I went to the school, the park, and the shrine. Then I went out. Everything so when I went out, everything felt so nostalgic. There's already so many things I can't remember about a lot of different stuff. I only talked about it, but it felt like the scenes in distant summer days spread out before my eyes. First, bustling schoolyard afternoons, the seesaw bouncing back and forth until nightfall, Shrine grounds that always felt so uh, felt a bit scary. The memories floated in pops like soap bubbles, disappearing as quickly as they came. It all felt so dear to me, but at at the same time, it felt lonely. But I put it all aside. If I had to describe it, it felt kind of uncool. Besides, uh, it since I took uh, it since. It's nice to look back on what happened this summer. I'm sure... No, I'm positive I won't forget this one. I tried bluffing with that and laughing a little. Did I hide it well enough? I wasn't true, uh, sure. Don't look so sad when you laugh like that. You make me sad too that way. Just as I worried about, it wasn't any good. If I were any better at faking laughter, I probably wouldn't have thought about it so much. I get so lonely when I think about not meet about us not meeting anymore. I stopped looking at the sky and started complaining to myself. I'm only going back to my life from a month ago. I knew that, but I loved this one month. I also knew about my selfishness and about things I could, that couldn't be changed. But, if it were possible, I wouldn't want to leave. Man, there's no help in you, is there? You're always smiling and laughing back then. You changed schools, so you can't say uh, you can't say all that now. But, my eyes started growing hotter. I'm sure if I were to look into the water's surface, I'd show my face on the verge of tears. 
I'm feeling just as sad, as sad about this as you are. If we could, I wouldn't want us to part ways. That's why I plan on understanding your feelings. However, this time, I was thinking about what my dad talked about. He said, don't you have any friends and family? People important to you? To be honest, I never thought what my dad talked about would be so appropriate here. I thought we'd end up fighting again. I went in thinking I'd try my best to understand. Somewhere along the way, I gave up. I never thought or saw that my dad worried about me so that much. But I was wrong about everything. I could speak about it properly and could come to an understanding. That's something I can say now. A year ago, we couldn't have. I was thinking, wouldn't that be kind of a connection? Physical distance doesn't matter. It's an unbreakable link and bond kind of thing. Thanks to that being around, that might be why things could turn out like this. So, for you and me, we're definitely connected. Koya. From the side, Koya's dignified face grew hazy. His words sunk into my ears one by one. Earlier, I said I thought about placing, uh, picking this place because it was where it all began. Since today would be the last day, I didn't pick this place. Here, there would be always be something starting. Something would change. This summer, you and I changed so much. That's why something began again. That's why something can begin again here. You have to keep moving forward. I'm sure that if you do, we'll cross paths again somewhere. Kalia slowly turned around and looked at me. Our eyes met. This is something I've asked uh, for earlier for you. I thought it might not get here in time, but I managed to get it here today. He pulled out something from his pocket in his jeans. As I looked at him with teary eyes, I could barely tell there was something there. Koya hung it around my neck. The thing he has got me was a matching dog tag. We are forever with. Even if we are apart, we will always be connected. I quickly nodded in those words. A gentle warmth wrapped around my body. When I looked up, Koya had disappeared, and the whole night sky opened up. There, the stars started falling in earnest. The night sky was filled with silvery light. After watching it for a while, I closed my eyes. Something else slowly streamed from my eyes. And just like the shooting stars, they kept flowing and flowing. The night passed and morning came. Today's the day I leave Minnesota Village. My packing was all finished yesterday. Absolutely nothing was forgotten. All right then. After tightening my, uh, tightly tying my shoelaces, I stood and picked up myself. My grandparents were seeing me off, speaking to me in their always kind voices. It seems to they honestly wanted me to come along with, uh, come along with me to the bus stop. But they kept saying that walking me up to the front door was enough. Well then, be careful on your way home, okay? Come back any time. We'll be waiting. Okay, thanks. And sorry about not being around much for these last few days. It's okay. It's been a long time since you've been our, since you've seen your friend. And since you talked so much with us, you don't need to worry about it. Yes, that's right. At around your age, it will be fine if you go out and play that much. The three of us laughed. Then the doorbell rang out. Right at that moment. Oh, we have a guest at this hour? Could it be your friends coming to meet you? When he said that, the face of one particular person leapt to my mind. That really does seem possible. <laughs> Maybe so. Well then, thanks for keeping me under your care. I have to get going. Right. Tell your parents we said hi. 
I gave him a small bow, a small bow then opened the door to, in the entryway. Hey, morning, Dark. Morning, Koya. Did you come all this way to meet me? Sure enough, it was Koya who had come over. All my uh, other friends were meeting at the bus stop, so for him to come out here to made me happy. Yeah. I was thinking I wanted to spend time just a bit more with you, however possible. Yeah, it's not a problem, is it? Of course not. Let's go. Everyone will be waiting for us. Yeah. Here, I'll carry your stuff. Let me hold that. Yeah? Really? Thanks, Koya. I walked alongside Koya happily, in the clean morning air. A smile formed on my face. Seems you've already loosened up a lot. Eh? Nothing. I was just thinking about how much you cried last night. Oh, yeah, that's true. But, like you said last night, we'll, we'll be connected even if we're apart. When I think about it that way, I get the feeling that things will work out just fine. I still feel kind of sad, but now I can relax a bit. I see. When I said that, Koi gave me a gentle laugh. Because of that, I smiled a bit longer. Oh, I think next time I can come back in his winter vacation? But I guess it really does kind of break my heart, even if I think about us not being able to meet until then. Well, which is it? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll be okay. Totally okay. Sheesh. Well, I'll come visit you next time. We're into vacation, along with unexpected holidays. For happiness, plus I don't have school. Eh? You would really come visit me? What? Don't you want that? No, no. I'll have a big welcome for you. Oh yeah. I'll have to really clean up my room for that. If you could, could you mind calling me in advance? What? Really trying to tell me something? No, no, no. Of course not. You know. Oh ho. I won't call you at all then. I'll just ring the doorbell out of the blue. You better be ready for that. Because maybe I'll just go around and clean your, up your room or something. Gah. Stop with that part, at the very least. There's so many things in there I can't let you see. As we're nearing the end of the exchange, you also get uh, steadily close to the bus stop. Everyone else has already gathered over there. Someone was waving his big hand at us. It's probably Tor Heiko. Go and I exchanged a glance and the two of us quickened our pace. You're finally here, Dark. I was getting worried that you'd be late. No way. It would be impossible for me to be late today. I'm not Konosuke. No, since Konosuke wasn't late for once, we were talking about whether or not his tardiness had transferred onto you. Looked around as he said that. Oh my god, it's true. Konosuke really is here. Eh? No way, why? I was thinking it sounded ridiculous even to myself, but I wasn't that surprised. In all honesty, I wouldn't have thought it was strange if he was so late. I didn't see him today. What's with that response? Isn't that a bit of an overreaction? I can do it if I put my mind to it, you know. On a day this important, I couldn't possibly be late. But you're totally late on the day on the day Dark actually came, you know? But you were totally late? Oh, yeah. That's that. And that is this. Wait, that's that and that it and that is this. Words. Besides, being late today would be the nail in the coffin. There's still time to help out. Uh, help out from it, though. Oh, then you put it like that. Uh, when you put it like that, Sh Shun Shunkun. I don't think we're supposed to agree here. In any case, isn't it fine if everyone could just get here on time? Well, either way. 
Looks like things will get a little lonelier here. Yeah. Well, we can just still meet up again. We will come over to visit you next time. Okay, come over whenever you like. I'll be waiting. Yeah, even if you didn't say that, I'd come over, so be happy. Heh, <laughs> I figured you'd say that. Everyone laughed a bit at that. It was that time, the moment we heard the unique sound of the bus engine. Oh, it's already time. Later than dark, come back again sometime. Next time, I'll have a room for you. Ooh, please come see us again. I'll also be waiting for you. Uh, yeah, this is your t uh, hometown, so come back whenever. Yeah, I'll be okay. I'm sure we'll see you, uh, see you all again soon. So just keep waiting for me. Okay, you three? Take care of yourself. Got it? Well, well keep it up over there. Don't go catching a cold. Yeah, yeah. Health is the most important thing. Oh, yeah. Next time you come back, bring us a lot of souvenirs. Okay. Thanks. And yeah, I'll bring back a lot next time. I'll write you. Write back a reply if you can find some the time. Oh, I'll write too. But writing a letter is kind of embarrassing. Heh, <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah, I'll definitely write back. I'll keep in touch on my end too. Exchange parting words with everyone. Both the same as did five years ago. Feelings of happiness and loneliness filled up my chest. Well, still the most important uh, one here. I haven't finished talking with him yet. Dark? Yeah? I've really, really been in your care a lot. Thanks. Heh. <laughs> Don't need to worry about that. I've been taught a lot, too. Or even. I see. Then we'll leave it at that. Yeah. Just like that. Right. See you, Dark. i have waiting for you next time. Take care. You too, Koya. Uh, tell me if you if your band ever comes over my way. I'll definitely go see. Of course. It's a promise. Suddenly, the bus horn blasted. Guess our talk got a little too long. Oh, crap. See you guys later. I'll come back again, for sure. I wish there was a sequel to this. I took my luggage from Koya and hurried on board. Then, I immediately ran to a window, looked out at everybody, carving my images into their carving their images into my memory. The bus slowly started to move. Everyone was waving their hands as so they slowly disappeared behind me. And then, no matter where, no matter how far, they kept chasing. The two could no longer see each other. Before long, I lost sight of them. Inside the quiet bus, I was all alone. I sat up in my seat and let out a sigh. Then, it started to hit me. Summer was now officially over. Still, the summer may be already, o may be already over. It's not like it's disappeared. Our memories would always be with me. Isn't that right, Koya? Quietly mumbled to myself as I grasped my shirt just above my heart. In my hand, I felt something firm. Next time we meet, I'll have to really think about myself without laughing about it. What I, what did I do now? Wait, what did I do now? And what do I want to do after this? The sky spread out forever outside the window. Just like my future, my options were vast as that. I still don't know where I'm going to end up. I just know that I always want to keep what he's uh, taught me close to my heart. Therefore. I want to walk with my head held high. The next time we meet, I want to be able to stick out my chest. Oh, but I might be a little bit off. I thought about it and let my hand fall from my clothes. The words of bonding carved into the middle reflected back in my eyes. We are forever with. It's not about next time. Even though we're separated, right at this moment... We'll always be together. 
<sighs> so that's the end of this Let's Play. We're going to be redoing it because, you know, we lost the first set of videos. Weird that since he's like the main character of the game, he wasn't the first one done. It's weird. It's like one of the last two. <sighs> I have to say, this is was I was kind of like losing my uh, reading a bit there, because I did that whole section with this whole let's play before. The only problem was I forgot to auto balance audio balance after. Uh, I did a uh, certain recording, which meant it was pretty much just sound effects, and maybe you could hear me in the background. <sighs> Woof. Well, anyways, that's going to be the end of this Let's Play. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Um, please comment, because I like comments. Tell me what you like, dis tips, tricks, otherwise. If you like my YouTube and like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out other videos to help it grow. And please remember to spay and or neuter your animals to help control the pet population. And if you want to play this game, you can go to the link in the description where you can download and play it for free. And if you're interested in just seeing the H stuff, you can go to my Pornhub at GameWolf6 on the website. So yeah, thank you for watching. And until next time on Let's Play by me, the GameWolf6 Hub more Nazi revi not revised, regular or original Koya's route. Because we're going to do it again, because we lost the first sets of videos.